<laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> you. We know how we love her so much, and we are so honored to have her sure. on the show. Who am I talking about? I'm talking about Joyce Omoni, the very beautiful Joyce. By the way, guys, she's very beautiful. <laughs> That yeah. is between us. <laughs> Thank <laughs> anyway, you. Anyway, can you wish that night, Joyce? Thank you so much. It's Thank you guys for having me on the show. It's such well. a pleasure. Yeah. Mix. <laughs> yes. Frey Yeah. Welcome so much. So, As I'm so saying. You know, yes. I remember I was tempted to play a TBT song. Not a TBT. Mm. Actually, it's still look. Uh, it looks new. Mm. It's a conqueror. Oh. This song. I think it's one of my favorite among your songs. Thank you. Now, uh, today, na kwanga blessing to me. Amen. So it's, a, it's a, an honor to have you today. Thank you very yeah. much. Yes. So there's something we do here on JC Sako. Mm. Okay. Kuna watu wa daitua friends on JC Sako show. Uh -huh. Those are our viewers and those who, are, who keep in touch with us on social media. So salami are friends of JC Sako. Wow. <laughs> Which camera? Right. This one. Yes. Jamini friends of JC Sako. <laughs> Mbarikiwe sana hamjambo nyote. I pray that you are well this morning. Thank you very much for tuning into the show. And God bless you. And may he continually guide your paths in all that you do. Yes. Now you can tell us more about yourself. <laughs> <laughs> okay. um, well, so... Joyce Omondi, first and foremost, I'm a daughter of the Most High King. Um, in addition to that, I am a wife to an incredible husband. I am a minister of the gospel through song. Mm -hmm. I am a TV host, Uko Kwengine Mahali. And um, I am a founder of a women's empowerment movement, and I'll be sharing about that later on. But uh, uh, I do all of those things and more but most of all i just i love god and i love people and i'm excited to be able to share what he's given me with others amazing thank you so much now we want to talk about music uh, music is it something you really w wanted to do or is this something you had planned to do or is something you just met along the way and you decided to do it yeah, well, I mean, I, I grew up sort of from a musical family. My granddad was in a band, so I a saxophone and the trumpet. Mm -hmm. uh, my parents, they were in the choir together, Kanisani, that's how they met, then they got married. Mm -hmm. um, and I, my dad had bought me a toy piano when I was three years old. Okay. And I used to just gonga it all the time. So he was <laughs> like, hey, Maze, love that she wants to yeah. learn how to play the piano. Mm -hmm. So he actually went and bought me a proper piano, mm -hmm. an upright piano, and then I started lessons. Um, so by the time I was six, I was in the worship team, I was you know, playing the keyboard, mm. and eventually grew to be like the lead keyboardist in our church. But honestly, all of this was never, <laughs> it was not the plan, it was not what I wanted. Uh, I was even in like a girls, like the worship leaders at mm. church, we formed a group the female ones, we were called WOW, wow, wow. Women of Worship, oh, Harlem wow. Worship. Yeah, wow. Wow. <laughs> and so I used to be the one to play the keyboard for them. Then they used to come and be like, come and lead this song. And mm. I just, I never used to like that. So honestly, it's been a journey. I struggled writing music. Then only after some certain experiences in my life is when God started depositing songs in my life. So now I am out here after a lot of hesitation, a mm. lot of nervousness, a mm. lot of self-doubt. Mm. Uh, but God has been faithful mm. and to hear how my songs have impacted people. I still have that piano my dad bought me. Wow. So my, all of my songs have been written still on have it. it. Imagine, since the time I was four years old. Wow, so, interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know Yes. Yes. Um, and you the story of mm. Timothy and his 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 grandmother mm. and his mom. The way they passed the faith down. Yeah. That's how they passed the music down to you. I guess so. Uh, amazing. That is so <laughs> amazing. Yes. Let, let, let me let me maybe you can just describe your kind of music, your genre. Sure. Yes. For me, um, you know, there's a lot of talk that goes on in this gospel industry about, and it's disturbing that even secular mm. guys now start questioning oh, sure. the sort of music <laughs> that we do, right? So for me, um, I believe my fans and the people who follow my journey know my music as scripture based. Mm. Me, I sing the word of God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I sing it back to him. My mm. songs are not about myself. Yeah. 
my songs, I believe worship is about an object before us and that's what we do. Anything mm. that we, you ascribe a lot of power to and a lot of attention to, you worship it. And for me, that person is God. So my songs are based on scripture. And it's not easy that you may jam a No, yeah. no, no. Like I literally find my inspiration from scripture. Mm -hmm. And I, my songs are really love songs to God and just declarations of what he has promised in his word. Wow, love song. Wow. <laughs> mm. <laughs> love song to God. Yeah. Yeah. I've never heard of that. This is the first. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, there's a difference between oh, Mr. Ma, you write your own songs. So there's a difference between ministry and industry. Well, I was told that too mm. once. Mm -hmm. I went somewhere to sing. I won't say with Kinanani. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> but um kidogo kidogo naona watu wengine wanavutoka nyuma ya tent anapele kwa nyuma alafu kirudi they are like patting their pockets right so i'm like hey, what's going on so the aide that i was with at the time went to be like uh what's happening like what's going on what's for yeah. joyce alafu akamwambia ati ah unajua our our ni artists joyce ni minister <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. so i guess artists ndio wanapewa vitu ministers wa ministers sisi tuna tuna budu bwana and it's god bless you god bless you hiyo ndio tunapewa tunapewa mkono ya corona unaenda bali tunaenda eh haribu so nasemanga unaenda bali but look i mean god has been so faithful i mean mm -hmm. i've been in this journey for a little bit in and out, you know, doing mm -hmm. other things. But it doesn't bother me because um, I think motive is very important mm -hmm. in everything that we do. Whether yeah. you're a DJ, a TV host, a mm -hmm. musician, your motive is very important. So I believe that our gifts will make room for us and God will provide for our needs. So for me, I'm dependent on God, yes. not fans' response. Mm -hmm. I'm not looking at YouTube views to, mm -hmm. to determine my whether not even my my worth mm. whether what i'm doing is me my audience is one because mm -hmm. i came to a realization very early on in my career that i could have a million people screaming my name 10,000 10 million views mm. but god is not pleased with me and for me that is what matters the most so if that one voice is not happy it doesn't matter if 10 million are mm. so you know in my life i have chosen to make that sacrifice and that means that I am very strict about what I sing about and I don't compromise my content mm. to create a hit song mm, right okay. um, and sometimes it means that I have to be willing to pay the cost to work elsewhere to mm. get my you know provisions yes. and you know my income mm. but as long as my ministry remains just that yes. ministry then that's a cost that I'm willing to pay. Yes, wow. speaking of resources in terms of money, uh, there's something unique about you. You've done two albums. Yeah. Yes. What made you do albums? Because what I hear is, is that albums are very, very costly. And even you do not give it your all. Mm. Yes. What's your take on that? So honestly, because mm. going back to my journey about not being able to write music, so it so happens that both of my albums have been written after I have graduated from school. Mm -hmm. Okay. The first one was after I graduated college. And up until that point, I was never able to write music. And then I don't know, I'll just be up at 3 a.m. I can hear everything conquer. I could hear like, these are the drums. I want the <laughs> bass line to go like this. I, <laughs> like I could hear everything. And before I knew it, I had like 10 songs written. So wow. I was like, oh, okay. Might as well put them in an album. Mm. Okay. <laughs> um, similar process with Spirit versus Soul. It mm. took you know, a few years between Conqueror and that one, because mm. uh, I went back to school, came back to the country, and then those songs began to to come into into life so mm -hmm. for me it's kind of just been like I have this collection of songs mm -hmm. anyways mm -hmm. so let me put them in a way that I can give them out to people but also I do a lot of church tours sometimes and when you go to churches people are like yeah. Neza pata songs yes, and then you're yeah, like eh. <laughs> <laughs> so albums for me for me so far have mm -hmm. you know worked yeah, well worked but well. I understand I mean obviously consumption patterns are changing so mm -hmm. maybe from here I'll start now doing singles please stick I don't know to albums <laughs> <laughs> please stick to albums anyway let me let me let me let me ask this you know they say every song is a someone mm. and there's this one song 
you did that's my favorite because it actually speaks to my spirit mm. called satisfy yeah preach to Ooh. preach to me about this song <laughs> preach god oh man satisfy yeah. that's it's a beautiful song and it just um that one has a very special place in my heart um satisfy for me is just that reminder that everything i'm chasing is yeah. futile yeah. unless god is at the center of what i'm doing and okay. of what i'm pursuing and i think i was just struggling with my own challenges at the time and i was just trying to remind myself like god even if this thing doesn't work <laughs> out it is you that's going to give me happiness mm -hmm. it's not a job mm -hmm. you know as young people and the economy has been tough so a lot sure. of young people are like oh niki pata your job oh sasa ndio nitakuwa poa no there's plenty of people who have fantastic jobs i had a very high flying job and i still wasn't satisfied mm -hmm. right there are people who are we were just watching a movie by the late Robin Williams the mm. other day mm -hmm. and he was famous beyond fame mm. making money all over the place and he wasn't satisfied was struggling with some issues took his own life mm. so it was just that reminder that really only in god can we find satisfaction. full satisfaction yeah. there yes. is that god shaped hole in all of us mm. you can fill it with whatever else you want at the end of the day it's not going to match it's not going to be enough only god can satisfy us i mean wow. dj nix mm. it ended up inspiration vibe yeah i must hear you <laughs> it ended wow. inspiration vibe <laughs> anyway anyway this is my god mm -hmm. the first time we saw it with dj nix we were like <laughs> hold on Actually, Joyce we, we just posted. Yeah. <laughs> Joyce Mwendo, yeah, she's dancing. Oh my God, she's dancing. Oh my God, wow, she has killed the movie. <laughs> Thank you. Did you say I killed the movie? Yes. Thank Actually, you. Actually, you surprised us, Anna. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Let me tell you, I was so scared releasing that video. It took a while. Um, I kept asking my husband. I'm like, hey. Should we should we do I look silly do I look but anyway, yeah. I love music I yeah. I wait, by the way I'm half Costarian half Jaluo you yeah. have to know Costa I have some rhythm know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have to have rhythm somewhere up and down but you. um this is my god is a fun fun video to do and uh mm -hmm. um yeah I guess the, it was the time to just behind it come out mm. from my shell the motivation behind mm. it is just to say there are things in our lives that we go through that and yeah we're just like hey Mm. you're ni mungu tu ah. yeah it mm -hmm. is just to say that and yeah this is my god there's no way i'd have survived this thing if mm -hmm. it wasn't for god mm -hmm. so it's a testimony but mm -hmm. at the same time i look at it as a declaration of faith moving forward to mm -hmm. say i don't know what it is that is happening and i don't know how this situation is going to work out but who you mungu wangu mm -hmm. has never failed me mm -hmm. and i can trust him eternally so whatever challenges even this corona mm. you know god is not asleep he does not sleep or slumber <laughs> yes. he is awake even these locusts mm -hmm. he will deal with them <laughs> and we will testify that this is our god wow yeah. oh, okay mm. so mm. encourage guys encourage guys you know the, we have ladies who want to venture into music yeah yeah and now could have like there are hurdles there are challenge they just want to give up but this is an opportunity for you to encourage them yes on camera for okay yeah um again i just repeat the message that your motive is so important in life and um if god has given you that desire the other thing to learn is just to trust in his timing and to wait on him to bring it into fruition so many times we get impatient and that's when we start doing things by our own might and by our own strength and that's how we mess everything up mm -hmm. so trust in god trust in his timing and as you wait mm -hmm. be actively waiting that means you're seeking him okay mm -hmm. so present the desires of your heart to him but his word tells us in matthew seek ye first the kingdom of god and all of these other things um shall be given unto you so we'd be lying to ourselves if we said that we're seeking you know all these other things fame mm. marriage because that's a thing mm. nowadays mm. too <laughs> say marriage u celebs dreamini u star but god is nowhere in that picture we'd be lying to ourselves and most of all we don't want to be the ones to disappoint him either so mm. you know keep on keep the faith uh, keep trusting him and above all just surrender that desire to him because at the end of the day mm. only he will satisfy
Okay, mm -hmm. thank you. Now, oh. how can people get your music? Yes, yeah, apart so from YouTube, are there yeah, other you can, avenues? Yeah, yeah, yeah. you mm -hmm. can catch up with my music, of course, on YouTube, and then um, it's on all those digital platforms. Mm -hmm. When you are my iTunes, what were iTunes? What Coco Sour? You can mm -hmm. get it on Book. <laughs> And uh, if you want the albums, you can also visit my website, www.joysomondi.com. And they could also follow me on social media, yes. sure. at Joyce Omondi. That's on Facebook, on Instagram, and Twitter, and of course, YouTube. At Joyce Omondi. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you for you. making time. Thank you guys for having me. <laughs> and maybe maybe uh, before she leaves, you know, I... I uh, when you talked about albums, um, I was tempted to ask, and I will ask okay. about ukifanya uh, singles. And you nasema unaiza unaiza mo kufuku release singles. Uh, should we expect some collabs from you? Because actually, si jawana just mo dia kifanya collabs. Mingi mingi. Yeah. Yeah. So what should we expect from you? Maybe. Yeah, you that's true. I think I've only done two collabs actually, and they're mm. both from my first album. Yeah. Um, Spirit versus Soul is very like mm -hmm. that one. Yani, I just had to do it to be Lemungu Aliniambia Nifanya. But yeah, I would absolutely love to do more mm -hmm. collabs in future. Wow. It's something that I, I feel everyone should, you know, prayerfully consider. That's true. So I'm not the type that you nani DM to at yo nataka collab na wewe. I'm just I'm not that chick. Yeah. <laughs> but um, you know, I feel it's very important to be on the same page with someone as far as these things that I'm saying, the mm. motive, mm. and what is the purpose of this song. To me, stuck is on my drama bad Yeah, sure. Yeah, <laughs> but um, definitely, that is in the works for 2020. Wow. <laughs> so watch the space. It's Nangoja. Hey, we were asking guys on social media, with everything that is happening lately, the plagues, the false prophecies, yeah. do you think this is the end times? What's your, what's your view on that? I think it's absolutely the end times already. Mm -hmm. um, not just because of Corona or the locusts, but just because even the way we live our lives. I mean, uh, the Bible talks very clearly about how in the last days, men will be lovers of themselves instead of lovers of God. Mm -hmm. And if you see it, I mean, we're so vain all over the place. Social media, I mean, because we're all trying to attract attention to mm -hmm. ourselves. Mm -hmm. It's become about money. It's become about yeah. fame, mm -hmm. about flossing. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, for sure, we're in the end times. So people need to get themselves ready. Yes. Yeah. Thank but you. you know what? The, the thing about the end times is it's not about doom and gloom. Yeah. There's this beautiful story of hope for those who know Jesus Christ. Yeah. So yeah. we have an eternal glory to look forward to. We have eternal life to look forward to because one day this king of ours is coming to carry us away mm -hmm. to live with him in this beautiful paradise of heaven. So I'm excited. Anyway, we're just about to dance. Oh, okay. This is my God for the very first time. <laughs> Dropping here on JC Sako show. Pale kwa DJ Nix. Kwale kwa Dex. Yes. And we are about to dance. DJ Nix will be joining us. Hey, could dance? Yes. Uh, I'll, teach you, I'll teach you guys the moves. Yeah. Okay, sour. <laughs> <laughs>